part where birds explode. No, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to, uh, this having an aneurysm. <laughs> I say that joke a lot. Um, anyway, so, um, I'm back with, uh, well, something that I thought I was going to be able to do last night, but it was just really late, and I wanted to go to sleep. My laptop saying no internet, but it does that all the time whenever I log in or start it up. New no biggie. Yeah, it's, it's connected now, but um, please don't. It was like, I think it's Steve Carell that plays that guy in the office. He's like, don't. Anyway, uh, yeah, also I have to say, um, that, that stream was fun last night, the, uh, Minecraft bonus chest run, which by the way, it's, it's not gonna be one of those things where, oh, every time I do this, like, every time I stream Minecraft and do this, I'm gonna start a whole new world, um, whenever... Like, here's how I'm going to do it. Whenever I feel like it's time to retire the world I was previously on, I will. But at this moment in time, um, I don't think I will. So. Google Earth. Anyway. Let's launch her up. Yeah, so, um... It's been a while. Let me um, pull this up and wait. Where is this? Hold on. This was. Oh. Oh, yeah. I was just about to get to Oklahoma. I think, um, yeah, because, okay, yeah, 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 that's right, I was, I was in Gainesville, and I was heading to Ardmore, and, uh, first thing I saw was Cracker Barrel, okay, now I, now I know, we pass it, though, but, um, yeah. Anyway, let me actually get to the stream on my laptop, which, by the way, at some point in time, probably after I get done with my pre-order for the PS5 when that becomes available, um, I am planning on putting money into my Amazon account and uh, trying to get a DVI cable, because believe it or not, I actually have a uh, secondary monitor that can take DVI, and my PC tower has a DVI port for my graphics card. But unfortunately, I do not have a DVI cable. I have a DVI to HDMI adapter, but not the actual cable. So that's something that is currently on my to-do list, but like I said, that will be later on down the line. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But... <laughs> Evergreen. Okay, actually, this fits. We got evergreen, we got a green trailer. The truck's a little out of place because it's not green. We got all these green looking trees, we got all this grass. We got a green sign. On the other side of that is a green sign. Got... Look at all this, this is pretty. Got a radio tower, which. Oh, is that like a radio station over there? Or is that just like a radio tower? It's an I don't know. And that, I believe, is just a... Oh. I thought that said, Welcome to Texas. Um, we will see that probably in a few more... A uh, few more... A few more things... 
Yep, there it is. Please note, this is not on the... <laughs> Can my brain please operate on a level that is actually, like, admirable? Because I sound like a really big dumbass. Um, anyway, um... Yeah, so... That, that's number two. Out of, uh, six. Which is, uh... Please tell me I didn't just catch that. Okay, thank God. I don't think it did. I, I hope it didn't. There was music playing on my laptop from a, something called Insomniac or something. It sounds cool, but I don't really listen to dubstep all that much, but I really hope that it didn't get captured on the, not camera, the microphone. I don't think it did, though. Um, anywho. Oh, right. So that is a landmark, so... Okay, so that's a thousand. I haven't played this in, like, a long time. I say play, but it's just me pretending to play a game, because... The real game that this is all based on is just, well... You have to buy a subscription for it, which is a big turnoff, because it used to not be like that. You used to be able to play unlimited, like, free games on GeoGuessr. But, no, they have to monetize it, because, you know, it's not made by an official company, but I think there is something that Google made, or somebody made, like, a company made, that was inspired by it, but it's not exactly the same. Also, Just never realized what that's supposed to say. New flesh sites. You guys are missing an H. That's not how you spell flashlights. Oh. Oh. By the way, I know what it's actually trying to say, but I'm just trying to play. I'm trying to play coy. So, uh, bet, bet you weren't, <laughs> bet you guys weren't expecting to see a, uh, snuff film store right outside the limits of Oklahoma. There it is, Red River. Actually, um, it's important to note, and I know this is like a deviation, but... Um, actually this does have to do with Oklahoma, just sort of not really, but it does technically have something to do with it, but it's regarding a funeral that I went to a long time ago, where I went to, uh, my step-grandmother, no, not, step my great-grandmother's funeral, why the hell did I almost say step-grandmother, I am stupid. Anyway, um, this is not Wichita Falls. I'm, I'm trying to find Wichita Falls. Um, ah, there it is, there it is. Burke Burnett. We were going to Burke Burnett because we had to go to a funeral for my great-grandmother, who I called my great mamma, uh, who had unfortunately passed of uh, Alzheimer's in 2011. So... 
I think it was around the holiday season, if I'm not mistaken, because I think it was in November. Yeah. Um, so Peppa had to pick me up from my uh, middle school, and uh, my aunt and one of my cousins was there, and we ended up driving all the way up there. What happened was we were supposed to go to somewhere in Burke Burnett. What ended up happening, however, was we accidentally took a wrong turn. Or not a wrong turn, but we ended up staying on this road, and we ended up going to Oklahoma. And this is where it's not so much funny as it is depressing, because I really, really like Oklahoma, even though I've only been there like six times because I went to summer camp. But, um, basically what had happened was... Wait, what? Where's the... Oh, there it is. Um, what happened was... We had went into Oklahoma by accident, and we were meaning to get off a turn, like, on an exit. And, uh, so what had happened was, um, I kid you not, we went into Oklahoma, this is not, this is not where we were at, we weren't anywhere near this, uh, <clears throat> this snuff film factory, I'm trying to sound like Hank Hill, but I'm starting to sound more like some kind of posh Louisiana dumbass, I'm neither of those things. Yeah, I, I can't really do a Hank Hill impression unless... Dang it, Dale! If you don't quit that out, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna kick your ass, and when I'm done kicking it, I'll kick it even harder. Yeah, I... I, I got nothing, Doc. Yeah, I... I think Mike Judge does a way better voice impression because he's the voice actor for Hank Hill. Why, why wouldn't he? Anyway, um, so we crossed over into Oklahoma. Again, not through Gainesville. It was through Burke Burnett un unintentionally. And whenever we went past the actual bridge and went into Oklahoma, we had to stop right then and there whenever we crossed the bridge, because there was a little crossroads that we could turn around on. And the second we entered Oklahoma, I literally said, Hello, my old friend. It's so good to see you again. I wasn't even trying to be funny. I was actually sad, because I hadn't seen Oklahoma in, like, years. Like, I think it was at least two years, because the last time I went there was, uh, 2009, I think. Yeah. And so, whenever we turned around and ended up going back to Texas, I was like, goodbye, my old friend. I'll see you again someday. And to this day, I still haven't gotten back there. It's, it's because of the fact that I... I <laughs> this is going to sound really stupid, but... This is going to sound more like one of those psychotic fantasy things. But growing up in middle school, it was absolutely fucking miserable. So, I kept having this daydream that I would be, like, taken there as some kind of, like, school retreat thing that would last the entire school year. I know it seems stupid, but when you really think about it, I literally just said that middle school was miserable. I had to deal with teachers who were assholes. Same thing with high school, but middle school was absolutely dreadful. But what happened was... <sighs> Let me count the things. For one thing, my home teacher was not... I mean, she was nice, but she was really strict sometimes. We have the fact that I would frequently get in trouble even when... I without even trying to. For example, did you guys know that in 7th grade I got in trouble for trying to defend myself against a bully? Yeah, that literally happened. Uh, to elaborate further, 
basically what had happened was I was outside alongside other people waiting for the cafeteria doors to open from outside coming into inside and I was looking around seeing who was all over here or not over here but all you know around you know I was trying to watch out for people not like they're in danger just you know seeing who was there and while I was looking around I wasn't paying attention and I bumped into this big dude not big like fat but big like tough looking who I would come to find out his name is Travis Sales which by the way I'm not trying to leak any personal information I'm just saying that's his name I remember it back to front and uh, the thing is, he thought I was trying to mess with him, so I tried to de-escalate the situation, saying that I wasn't trying to mess with him. He ended up trying to threaten me, and I thought he was trying to fight me. And then a fight actually did start. I ended up having to back away, and at one point I found a stick. And I, <laughs> I was worried, because the thing is, all my life I've basically been a pacifist. Like, I don't really fight anyone unless I absolutely fucking have to. So what happened was, you know, hey, I found a stick. I'll hold it out and I'll act like I'm going to hit him. I really wasn't because I was too much of a wussy little bitch, but... Yeah, he snatched the stick from me, pointed it back at me like he was ready to poke my fucking eyes out. I just start, like backing away more. He drops the stick. He walks towards me some more. All of a sudden, we get over to where the cafeteria doors are. And I tell him... Or, I don't tell him anything. I... <laughs> I kid you not, we were in this crowd of kids who were watching this whole thing escalate. And... I don't know why I did this, and I ended up getting in trouble for this, alongside the actual fight. I flipped him the bird, and he flipped me the double bird. <laughs> I know I know that's not smart, but it was funny. <laughs> I just flipped him the double bird, like, <laughs> thinking that would do something, and he does it back. And eventually I noticed these kids with like these iPods out recording the whole thing. So, uh, guess who got in trouble for simply defending themselves for doing something silly like bumping into somebody and accidentally starting a fight for no reason? Me. So, yeah. To this day, I still have sour feelings about that middle school. I don't particularly like it. I mean, I didn't, I say that like I still go to middle school, but I don't think a 23 year old man would be going to um, middle school, unless they're a teacher, but I digress. Okay, so we are 32 miles from Ardmore, 14 miles from Marietta, oh, wait, no, Marietta, not Marietta, this isn't Marietta Heights from GTA, uh, Oklahoma City is one... 126 miles. Oh, what the? Oh, I didn't even know there was a casino over here. Because I know about the Choctaw World Casino, but... Yeah. Um... But yeah, so basically... <sighs> yeah, I got in trouble. I think I got, like, two office d hauls, which was just a fancy layman's term for, uh... You got a detention! Because you're stupid! In truth, I'm actually not stupid at all. I'll do something stupid sometimes, but I'm not, like, an actually stupid person. No, the problem was, uh... Apparently the education system doesn't take too kindly to people just trying to protect themselves and making sure that not every single bone in their body is broken. Which I find to be absolutely fucking stupid, seriously, like, so you're basically telling students, hey, don't get into fights, 
And if you do get into a fight, you can't defend yourself against someone who's literally going to break your spine in two. Do you have any idea how irresponsible that is? I get that it's because the school doesn't want to have any dirt on their name. But let me give you an example. Say there's some asshole student, some big buff looking dude who likes pestering people and he pesters you. And he keeps doing it, doing it, and doing it, and doing it, and you're really sick and fucking tired of it. So you decide, hey, you know what? I should probably take matters into my own hands since he's going to start shoving me around and stuff. And you start trying to defend yourself. All of a sudden, some peeping Tom teacher decides, uh, I got the scoop on this. I'm going to tell the principal and I'm going to get that student in detention. Or worse school suspension or expulsion yeah in other words apparently trying to defend yourself from somebody who's literally going to break your skull if you ain't careful can get you in trouble wow if that was ever a flaw with the educational system I don't know what is seriously But then we have the shitty schools who don't even do anything about bullying until it's too late and a student ends up committing suicide over it. Like, I don't mean to make it... I don't mean to make this stream into school-based politics. I don't think there is politics about it, though. Even though there are student presidents, but that's not the same as POTUS. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is... I have even heard of schools out there that have such shitty management that they don't even care if a bully decides, hey, look, someone to mess with. All they care about is, well, as long as we don't get into trouble, Do the teachers not understand the morals of that situation? The morals of what that means? It means that, again, if there is a bigger student who has been pestering or even outright assaulting a student that's smaller than them, and it gets to the point where that smaller student has to try and defend themselves, and the teachers decide, nah, we're not going to do anything about it, and then that student ends up committing suicide because of how depressed and upset they are over this. Because the teachers ain't going to do anything about it. Which, by the way, this has happened before. Students have done that. But for the teachers to not do anything until it's too late, and the bully probably gets like, oh, you're probably just going to get a detention. This is what's wrong with the education system, you know? And it was like that whenever I was growing up. By the way, um... is 500 so we're already halfway done with this but yeah going back to what I was saying for a school system to be so heavily flawed that you don't even care if a bully ends up making making a student effectively just or not effectively but just again this is an actual thing students have been known to commit suicide because they've been bullied so much and the teachers just won't do anything. It's so tragic, and I hear about it. Like, I haven't heard about it lately because of, uh, you know... Coronavirus. <coughs> but in the past, I have heard about that stuff, and it's really, really sad. Because anytime I see that stuff, and I don't see the teachers talking about it until... Oh, that's so sad. Little Billy was a good person. Yeah. 
Why didn't you step in to stop the damn situation from escalating? Yeah. Now luckily I've never been suicidal at all. Like, ever. Because I didn't really face any bullying in middle school. Now high school was different because the teachers were just dicks. Most of them anyway. But uh, yeah. To hear about that stuff, even though, like, nowadays you don't really hear about it, because, you know, again, the thing going on that I shall not name, even though I'm not monetized on either this or YouTube, but, yeah, I, I digress. Um, so we just got our third item on the list, which is the Windstar World Casino, which, by the way, is it weird that I've never actually been to a casino before? I mean, actually, technically, I kind of have, because I was on a cruise in 2016, and they had a casino area, but it wasn't an actual casino casino, it was just a gambling and poker gambling casino area within the ship, so it wasn't like its very own casino place, but, yeah. Also, eh, extra. <clears throat> extra lease. If you covered that and that up, it just says release. See right there. Also, if you, if you uh, mix those like T and X, text release. That was a bad joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what's that over there? Also, I didn't scroll out there. Just did it on its own. But, yeah, so... We learned today that... School was a living nightmare for me. But, yeah. <sighs> Was just I was looking at my phone because I saw there was a Discord notification, and uh, my friend Extreme Cherry has a Discord channel, and uh, <laughs> someone commented like with a yellow dot thing, and their name is the Real Pea Bag. I mean, what other pea bag would there be? <laughs> yeah, that was a. That was a bad joke just waiting to happen. It's a van with a trailer. Crazy. Well, it's not crazy. It's the fact that there's a Jeep over there. Jeeps are among the most common vehicles on the road. Alongside Camaros and... The fact that we just went into Gloom Town. Seriously, look at this. Look at this. It literally looks like you're in some kind of gloomy town, like three from Earthbound. Now we're back in Sunnyville. I think there's a city named Sunnyville. Could be wrong, though. But, um, yeah. You guys heard that? Don't worry, I'm not sick. It's just allergies. Truck looks really pissed off. <laughs> I'd imagine they're probably late. Just oh shit! I gotta get this cargo there, or else I'm fired. 
Then whenever there's just like da 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 da. There's that angry truck over there. There's the not so angry truck and oh, I think that's a Chevy Colorado over there, the trailer. Heard something. Is that that fucking Coca Cola truck? Coca Cola! I could go from one of those, but I don't have any. I just had Mountain Dews. Still good though. Air Capital Delivery in Warehouse LLC, Park City, Kansas. Ignore that phone number. <laughs> Don't spam them with phone calls. What the? Okay, that's that's weird. <laughs> oh, I think that's a woman. Closer. Is that a woman? Um. It's either a woman or. Uh. I'm willing to assume that they are. I know I probably just misgendered them. So, sorry unknown driver, I don't know if you're a male or a female, can't really tell, just because of this bullshit. Um, judging by the top, they seem to be a female. Maybe they are? I mean, I have heard of female truckers, so it's not far off. But we're not focusing on that. It's not even on our item list. No, seriously. People are not an item. People are people. I didn't know I could just... What? same road I I don't know why but it makes me think I'm like not on the same road but I am on the same road because if you look at this that's the same fence this is an emptier looking road so I guess canonically that is the way to go Oh well. La Roca. Probably said that wrong. Mexican Restaurante. Exit 15. That sounds good, but I already ate like several hours ago. I just now realized I didn't have cake earlier. So I'll just have the rest tomorrow. Uh, my papa had like a birthday cake several days ago. What are you censoring? There is nothing over here. It's just blank. Fairway. Robertson's ham salmon. <laughs> ham salmon. <laughs> ham salmon. <laughs> Robertson's ham salmon. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 
ham sandwiches, not ham sandwiches. This is probably the funniest mishap in speaking I've ever had. <laughs> Ham <laughs> <Damn>, salmon. <laughs> <laughs> On this moment in my stream, <laughs> Robertson's ham <laughs> Everybody loves Robertson Sam Simmons. <laughs> God, I can't stop laughing about that, my God. <laughs> Would you guys like some Ham Simmons? <laughs> Some fresh ham sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh my gosh. Imagine if I read the bottom and I actually said real beef jeefy. <laughs> So about 40 minutes ago, um, Sony issued a post about the PlayStation Plus, er, Plus, no, Plus games for August. One of them is already out today, but the other one comes out Tuesday next week. Now, here's what's interesting. If you guys remember, in uh, May. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in May. <laughs> late May, not May lay. <laughs> in late May, um Sony announced the first of two um June PS Plus games for free. The first one being the Call of Duty uh World War Two game. Then, a few days after that, they announced the second game, which was Star Wars Battlefront 2. But, I want you to think about this. Because, whenever they did this, a few days after, they announced the reveal event for the PS5, which was in turn delayed by a week due to the protests that were happening around the world. Because of this logic... I'm pretty damn sure that the reason why they're getting people to get one game now, and then the other game, like, on August 4th, which is Tuesday, which, by the way, if you don't know, the second game is Fall Guys, and it actually happens to come out on that day, so it's actually a marketing thing to let people get the game for free, so that way they can enjoy it without having to worry about, oh, well, I don't want to spend money on it. Well, there you go. But, here's where it gets interesting. They didn't do this for last month. I mean, you know, this month. You know, July. Because in July, they released three games in celebration of PS Plus turning 10 years old. But, one... Like, they didn't do it where one game was released 
like, a few days before the other ones. No, they were all simultaneously released on the free games thing. So, again, by this logic, and the fact that there's rumors and leaks going about that there's going to be a state of play literally next Thursday. That's not Thursday. I mean, it is Thursday, but it's not the day. Um, there's supposedly going to be a PS5 state of play event happening next Thursday. If it ends up being true, then it's much like the pattern that we had May leading into June. So, again, by that logic, we will be getting a state of play soon. But we'll we'll just have to see, all right. So now that we've gotten, <laughs> damn it! Now I'm gonna start laughing again. Now that we have Ham Sandwich, <laughs> Ham Sandwiches, me Ham Sandwiches. Ham Sammonsons. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I was about to say. Um, to those who play Red Dead Online, congrats, you guys got a new update. Now us GTA Online players have to wait like a week or two. But that's okay. Um, I, I was looking at something right now. <laughs> This is so fucking funny. So, I came across this just now on Twitter. Um, there's someone named Amber Sparks who made a sort of reply to something by New York Post. And this was something <laughs> posted nine hours ago by New York Post. Depression may have caused woman to believe she was a chicken. <laughs> and it shows a picture of a chicken. <laughs> So this Amber Sparks girl says, is that her because... <laughs> Depression didn't just cause her to think she was a chicken, it turned her into a chicken. I just hope no one turns her into chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Possibly the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so we have me accidentally saying Ham Simonsons. <laughs> and then we have a lady thinking she was a chicken because she was depressed. <laughs> and were those Ham Simonsons? <laughs> and Beef Jeevy. <laughs> and Seven. <laughs> It is real. <laughs> uh, okay. And what the? Oh my God, guys! It's a stockade. They're going to the Diamond Casino. It's the group sex man doing the the sub the subterfuge the the big con. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Shut up. <laughs> also, yes, that is actually a company in GTA. Group Sex. It is a security company. 
Uh, hello there, are you focused? Get it? Because for focus. Looks like angry eyes. I'm having voice cracks because I have nothing else better to do. <laughs> and I, I can't stop obsessing about ham salmons and <laughs> <laughs> They're delivering ham salmons and st <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, oh! Double focus. <laughs> I think that's a Pokemon move. <laughs> Double focus. <clears throat> oh, it's a two O game. I didn't even know that was a game. I just thought it was a Pokemon move. It's a, it's a bullet hell. <laughs> I unintentionally referenced a bullet hell without acknowledging its existence. <laughs> okay, just for this. Glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> oh, unless we forget. Unless we forget. Yoga. Got donuts. <laughs> uh. I wonder if this glitched up car. Became glitched up because of Ham Samson. <laughs> Nothing like a Ham Samson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that we're done talking about Ham Samson. <laughs> <laughs> Glitch it out cars. Also, hey, an RV. Hey, trucks. <clears throat> oh, by the way, Cuphead's now out on PS4. Also, by the way, you cannot unsee the fact that that truck now has a broken nose. I am the I am the biggest weirdo in weirdodom. Also, Challenger. Almost called that thing a Mustang. Are you two getting prepared to have a broken nose truck? Try high. Hello polygon that looks like something from Star Fox. This nest one. <clears throat> what is that? Uh, every neighborhood has it. Naturehood? Oh. I'm good. Learn, order, smile. Weed maps? What? How. What? Yeah, um, learn, order, smile. 
And it's called Weed Maps. What even is that? It's exactly what I thought. <laughs> I just take a good long look at that, and it's just. By the way, people, I do not smoke. I don't. I don't do cannabis. I don't do weed. I don't do any of that shit. 